This is Nikki Bernstein here with trainer Mike Maker, who will saddle a handful of horses for this Saturday's Claiming Crown Stakes. Now, as a huge supporter of the Claiming Crown, what are your thoughts on the event? I think it's fabulous. Uh, this year's card looks remarkable, so uh, we've done a great job of promoting it, uh, as opposed to when it's in Canterbury, but uh, great card. And now last year you won an impressive four out of seven of the stakes races. This year, how are you preparing to continue the success while trying to surpass last year's records? Well, we're going to bring back some of the horses that won last year and hope for a repeat. Uh, but we've had some horses that's had a great year. Brandy Secret, Major Marvel ran in it last year. Bernie the Maestro, uh, Brother Bird's back. So, uh, you know, though he hadn't had a great Great year. He loves Gulfstream Park, so uh, don't let his record fool you. And we're going to touch on some of those horses you mentioned in just a minute, but I wanted to also mention as a leading trainer in the history of the Claiming Crown, do you get as excited for these stakes as you would any other stakes race? Pretty much all of them. Uh, look forward to watching our horses work, and when they run very good, it's very rewarding. So, uh, you know, it's like a little Breeders' Cup. And what do you feel makes the association with your owners, Ken and Sarah Ramsey, so special and, and also so successful? Well, he likes to claim horses, obviously, and, uh, you know, he's, you know, whether it's a five claimer or a Breeders' Cup race, you really can't tell any difference from his enthusiasm from one or the other. So, uh, you know, being that he can have a big day with his claiming horses is, uh, you know, big deal for him. And just to touch on some of the horses who are going to be entered for this Saturday, you mentioned Brother Bird. He won the Iron Horse last year. He's going to run again in the Iron Horse this Saturday to defend his title. How has he been training coming into this Saturday compared to last year's race? He's been doing great. Uh, you know, his last race at Keeneland, he horse dropped in on him and about clipped heels. So, but having said that, he's not a great poly track horse anyway. So, but he likes it here. And Bernie the Maestro, he won the Rapid Transit last year, going seven furlongs. This year he's going to run in the Jewel, going a mile and an eighth. And so just if you could tell us what went into your thinking putting him into the Jewel this year. Well, he ran a mile and a sixteenth starter race here last winter, and uh, he was very impressive. And uh, he won a two-turn uh, mile stake in Indiana. It uh, was a pretty good field, so... Uh, you know, not that he couldn't handle the seven-eighths, obviously, but I felt that... Uh, he gave us a best shot in the big one. And Major Marvel, as you mentioned before, will run in the Emerald, where he just got beat by a head last year. He ran such a good race. He's gonna. He answered back with an impressive eight wins out of his last nine starts, and his records indicate that he's ready for this Saturday. But how's his training been going? I know he's. You can't say enough good things about him. Uh, he's not the greatest horse in the world, but he shows up every time, and he will Saturday as well. And lastly, we have Be Brave. He will run in the Rapid Transit. He comes into this race with a win just last month at Churchill Downs, and he's been running six furlongs for quite some time. So how do you feel about him going seven furlongs this Saturday? I think seven-eighths to a one-turn mile would be uh, move his game up a little bit. I think six, six and a half is a little short. He just he gets the job done, but he has a tendency to loaf a little bit at the end of his races, or once he puts it together, he's... He's going to be a very good starter horse. Well, good luck to you and your horses. We look forward to seeing them here at Gulfstream Park in the Claiming Crown Stakes.